Here's a quick update. I've got a signal light on this new industry that goes green to red. Red when the furthest car is all the way in the building so that you know you're at the end there and you're not gonna hit the exterior wall. And also it lets you know that there's a car in there if it's red. And I used an Iowa scale engineering train spotter sensor inside the building. And I use fiber optics, this Dwarven fiber optics, uh, which is the, their block signal controller. And I haven't obviously hooked that up all the way yet, but um, the ISC train spotter sends a signal to that light box and it tells it um, when the sensor is obstructed, it'll turn red. And when it's not obstructed, it turns green. So let me, let me back that coil car set into the building and you'll see how that works. Start her up. So the signal light itself I scratched up just the styrene, the drill and some crystal lenses that I'll do a separate video on. It's like on the, on the video that green shows kind of bright, but it's, it's green with my eyeballs. It's kind of white in the camera. Alright, so as that train approaches the end of the building, of the second car, it's going to trigger that Iowa scale train spotter, which will then there we go, and tells the um, Dwarven box there to change which fiber optic it's laying. That light has about a five second delay, so once that ISE signal is, or detector is clear, it'll take about five seconds to go green again. So now, the cars are clear of the rear end of the building. Anyway, that is a scratch build project I've been working on. And I gotta thank the guys at Trains. I mean, I was just one of the engineer tech guys that works on this Dwarven system. I, my goal is to, I, I think there's a lot you can do with fiber optics um, beyond just your typical street lamps and whatnot. This is an example of something I've been wanting to do. Um, I'll also do some other other lighting with it and I'll update you with videos on that. So anyway, hope you think that's cool. Cheers.